Hey there, have you ever asked yourself the question why? Then you probably have what it takes to become a data analyst. You see, data analytics is fundamentally sifting through massive amounts of information in search for answers. And these answers are geared towards helping you make better decisions. Yes, of course, curiosity is an invaluable skill needed in data analytics. However, curiosity may be the first step to getting started, but it is not just enough to make you a complete data analyst. Why? Good question. The short answer is data. Picture this. Every second, the world creates mountains of new data about our shopping habits, fitness routine, even how we navigate and use social media. Of course, it applies to the video you're watching right now. You're generating tons of data. Data analysts are the set of people that use setting tools to turn that chaos into clear insight, helping companies and sometimes even industries and individuals make very, very smart decisions. And in this guide, I will cut through the noise and give you a clear path on how to go from zero to landing your first job as a data analyst. And as a bonus, I'm going to be showing you trends to watch out for as a data analyst, especially because we're in the age of AI and everything cloud. And I've got a special gift for you, but I'm going to tell you at the end. Please ensure to stick around to the end. First, how do you choose the tools to use and language to learn? we we'll start with your actual gateway to data analytics, and that is Excel. Like most data analysts, my journey started with Excel, and while it's not the most powerful tool out there, it definitely widespread. Almost every company uses Excel. Hardly is there any company that doesn't use any form of spreadsheets or Excel. And that is why learning Excel can help you land your first role in data analytics. Excel is an essential tool for data analysis um, due to its versatility, acceptability, and very, very powerful built-in functions. It allows data analysts to do cleaning, manipulation, and data visualization efficiently um, with functions like pivot tables, lookup, and conditional formatting. Excel enables quick insight and decision making. Again, because of its widespread use across industries, it makes it a critical skill for aspiring data analysts. However, the problem with Excel is that its greater strength is also its source of weakness. It can do a bit of everything, but it's not designed for huge data sets. And that is a drawback. Trust me, once you start working with massive data, millions and billions of rows of data, you quickly encounter crashes and limitations and which is why when you've mastered excel you move over to the next and that is sql personally i call sql the powerhouse of data analytics in almost every data analyst job posting sql is a compulsory requirement and the reason is sql is very popular you see sql is your first serious step into reprogramming it can handle large data sets larger than what you could do with Excel and with all the performance issues that you would encounter using Excel and it's simpler to learn than many programming languages. SQL is the backbone of data management and it allows you to efficiently query, filter, manipulate massive data sets with precision and it helps with very, very structured format of data manipulation. It enables data integration across multiple sources supports automation of report processes and enhances scalability. The structure of SQL is such that it is ideal for ensuring data accuracy and consistency. And when you've mastered SQL and you've gotten a hang of it, we can talk about the next tool that you need to excel in data analytics, and that is the BI tools. BI stands for business intelligence, and it's the core of the data analyst function. If you recall at the start of the video, I told you that data analyst's core function is to answer business questions to enable decision makers make informed decision. One of the ways they do this is by visualizing data. By visualizing this data and creating dashboards and reports, um, the data analyst task is seamless. Um, so the BI tool is essential for creating dashboards and visualization. And believe me, there are countless tools out there. Uh, however, the most in-demand tools you probably see on the job listings are typically a Power BI, Tableau, and ClickView. Every other one is, um, just forget about them. First, Power BI, it really, really integrates smoothly with other Microsoft products like Excel and SharePoint. It has a free version and, and is very, very budget-friendly paid option. For Tableau, Tableau is very, very robust and is often considered slightly more advanced than Power BI. Yeah, a lot of data analysts prefer using Tableau and they've called it a more advanced visualization tool. But the problem is that it has a higher cost. And I know you don't want to spend money, especially because you're just learning and you're doing this on your own relatively. You could also try ClickView. It's known for ultra fast in memory processing, 
but it also tends to be less in demand than the other two that is Power BI in Tableau. Most job listings you will not see click view. I personally chose Power BI when I was starting out because it offered me very strong combination of features and affordability and seamless integration with Microsoft product, which is indeed ideal for getting into data analytics. Many analysts also appreciate the fact that Power BI has very, very good user interface and robust automation capabilities. And that is one reason you might want to start with Power BI. But you could neglect my advice and just choose whichever visualization tool you know is going to be very, very helpful for you. Let's talk about advanced analytics. When you've got any hands on Excel, SQL, Visualization BI tool, we can now have a conversation about advanced analytics tool. And advanced analytics brings us to Python and R. Just to say before I get into this that knowing just Excel, SQL and Power BI is enough to get you a job. In fact, this was all I knew when I was getting my first role and I landed my first job as a data analyst. So you can just stop this video at this point. No, no, just kidding. You would want to hear what I have to say next. The thing about advanced analytics is that it gives you an added advantage as certain jobs require these skills to be available before you are hired. But why would you need Python or R? The thing is that advanced analytics helps in uncovering much more hidden patterns, forecasts, future outcomes, and it helps in optimizing business processes and making more accurate recommendations. When you're ready for more advanced analytics, you will likely choose between R and Python. They're relatively the same in many ways, um, but have very, very different use cases. R, for example, is heavily focused on statistical analysis, which is the major use case for R. But Python is more versatile, is a more versatile programming language. Well, when I was starting out, I chose Python because, of course, like what I said, it opens the door to a wider range of opportunities. I could also use Python for web development, AI automation, or whatever I want to do that is not really so much tied to data analytics and is one of the most popular languages in the world. If you get good at Python, you will have plenty of paths to explore. And this is why I took out time to do a 15 part series on Python. If you want to get more into Python, feel free to check out my beginner's Python series, where I worked on Python problems every day for 15 days. It was an incredible journey. I have put the link in the description for you. I wish all you needed was just the technical skills, but in the real world, it's not just the technical skills. There are also soft skills you need to develop that are critical on this path. As a data analyst, technical proficiency is essential. It's very, very core. But equally important are skills like communication. You need to know how to communicate, problem solving, working through problem and preferring solution ideating through problem, critical thinking, um, the ability to clearly convey data-driven insight to stakeholders, work collaboratively with teams and adapt to rapidly changing business needs will set you apart. So mastering these soft skills will enhance your effectiveness as a data analyst and boost your career growth. I know what you're thinking. This sounds like a whole lot of learning. Learning there, learning here. And I personally think it will be unfair if I don't share some learning tips with you, especially tips that have helped me in my own learning process. For learning, I use the 70-20-10 rule, a framework originally introduced by Morgan McCall and his colleagues. The rule states that 10% of learning comes from having mentors and career advisors who provide guidance and strategic direction, 20% from formal education such as courses, um, books, structured training, but guess where the 70% comes from? Yeah, you guessed right. 70% comes from hands-on experience. That is the actual applying of skills in real world scenarios. Theoretical knowledge alone isn't enough. One of the things I've seen with many newcomers in data analytics is that they stumble a lot because they try to learn by just watching videos. Um, some people buy long courses and never finish them or watch very, very long YouTube videos of someone else coding but never practice hands on. The thing about watching idly is that watching gives you a false sense of progress. Real progress comes from doing the analysis yourself, writing formulas, cleaning data, debugging errors, and so on. What do you do instead? For Excel, I would recommend you try interactive challenges at excelpracticeonline.com. And SQL, you could check out the w3schools.com, SQL for direct coding practice. For Python, you could use my Python series, um, which is a 15 days daily practice with exercises for improvement. And um, alternatively, 
You can also check out free website called learnpython.org. Uh, whether you're practicing every day at your current job or you just want to make its way to data analytics. For Bobby, I'm going to recommend that account which offers both free and paid courses that walk you through the real life examples and to help you get started with that. You need to practice daily to understand what it's truly like to work as a data analyst. The next is about building your portfolio and setting up yourself for that first hire. Skills are one thing, but you also need to show them off. That's where a portfolio comes in. You can apply analytics at your current job. You can build a dashboard to create reports that track key metrics within your business, within your functions, and you can show it to your manager. Even if your role isn't formally a data analyst, this practical experience will stand you out. Just pick up a use case and see how you can try that out and implement something new. If you can use data at work or you're still studying, use publicly accessible data sets. You can go to Kaggle or just any place and to create personal projects. You document your process and results for recruiters to see the work that you're doing. Having real examples of your work is the best way to prove your capabilities. How do you land your first job as a data analyst? One of the first places I would go to is LinkedIn. LinkedIn offered me my first job and it's something I'm also going to tell you to leverage. LinkedIn is crucial for data analysts because it's one of the biggest professional platforms out there. Recruiters use it extensively. It could go to LinkedIn inside data analysts in your headline, summary, and any relevant job description. LinkedIn is a search engine as well, and you want to appear in a search result. Highlight your data project tools and accomplishment. Tell your wording so recruiters can easily match you with data-focused roles. So once the profile is optimized, you can either apply to roles directly or just allow recruiters to come find you. Bonus tip. I promised you some bonus tip by the end. The bonus information is about staying ahead in this space with AI and cloud. AI is transforming the field of data analytics, whether we like it or not. And staying up to date with AI advancement is crucial for any aspiring or current data analyst. The first way I would say you should stay ahead is keeping up with the trends in data analytics. Follow AI research news, subscribe to AI focused publications like the MIT Technology Review, Towards Data Science, or just any blog that gives very, very insightful news about that. Where can you get all of this? Well, I recently made a video of top channels and news sources to follow for the latest in AI development. Um, please check it out. I will leave the link in the description for you. You can also engage in online communities, um, participate in AI and data analytics forum, um, comment in Kaggle on LinkedIn, um, AI exchange platforms and different groups. Being participants in this group helps you to engage with people that are actually working on the same thing and know what is happening within the field. And when you stay on top of the information, it's time to leverage the AI tools. AI is revolutionizing data analytics by integrating with popular visualization tools like Power BI and Tableau. These tools now, they feature AI-powered insight, automated report generation and anomaly detection, making data interpretation more efficient. Additionally, AI-driven tools are being used for data cleaning, predictive modeling and automating various aspects of analytics. And for cloud, well, almost everything now is in cloud. Different from when I started. When I started um, learning data analytics, almost everything was on-prem. You get your data on-prem, connect to an on-prem server, but now we're all in the cloud. And so understanding cloud infrastructure has become increasingly essential for data analysts. Familiarizing yourself with platforms like AWS, Google Cloud, Snowflake, and Microsoft Azure and different cloud platforms can help you manage and analyze large-scale data efficiently. Cloud services provide scalable solutions for handling big data. Additionally, learning how cloud security and data governance work can give you an edge in modern analytics role where data privacy and compliance are critical factors. On my final thought, having covered essential tools like Excel, SQL, and BI platforms, as well as advanced analytics, cloud computing, and AI integration, what I would say is that data analytics might be your lifelong career or just one step towards another goal. Either way, it doesn't really matter. It's a valuable role that can open up countless opportunities. Personally, I can tell you that data analytics has done that for me. And if I were to do it all over again, um, yes, I would still choose this path. Whether you see yourself as a future data analyst, data scientist, AI engineer, or someone who want to branch out entirely, studying in data analytics is a great move. For the gift I promised, I haven't forgotten. Thanks for sticking to the end. And for that, 
I've compiled a list of courses, articles, books, hands-on platforms, and documentations to help you along the way. I know it's a long way and you need all the help you can get. The link is in the description. Be sure to check it out. If you found this video helpful, please share, like, and subscribe so others can have access to this as well. I'm going to see you in my next video. Bye for now.